So, over the weekend, DC Comics had an all-hands-on-deck meeting. Now, this was an interesting experience for me because I was out to see a movie. I was actually seeing Shazam, <laughs> um, uh, funny enough. But uh, as I was waiting for the theater start, I bring up my phone, and I got this alert from Bleeding Cool, which is the source of this story, uh, that there's an all-hands meeting happening at DC Comics right now. So, this is being uh, reported as it was happening so this is the first update I saw, and it says, uh, just as Marvel is tapping the wires for X-Men's 60th anniversary video event about to go live on Zoom uh, for Marvel Limited subscribers, Bleeding Cool gets the word that there's another kind of Zoom meeting going on over from the Warner Brothers Burbank headquarters, an all-hands meeting of DC Comics staffers and freelancers. Normally, this isn't great news and usually means that lots of people are about to get fired, but DC Comics has been on a roll as of late. James Gunn is popping by to G up the troops. Well, uh, that can't be a good thing, right? So that was like the the update. Uh, all hands on deck meeting. But hey, you know, this might be a good thing. DC's actually hit a couple of home runs lately. Uh, we got a movie about to premiere. James Gunn's launching all MCU Cinematic Universe. It's just going to be a raw, raw. Uh, let's get everybody up to date. And oh, no, ouch. Yes, it's layoffs. <laughs> this was the update like six minutes later. Uh, yeah, not many, but a few. Part of a reorganization and longstanding employee, Allison Gill, Senior Vice President of Manufacturing and Operations, has quote unquote retired uh so it's a thing um not like a couple years ago but i'm told uh, editorial employees are safe for now which is the mistake as we've talked about on this channel before the editorial level is where dc needs to clean its house right now and just to kind of further illustrate that we're going to move on over here this comes to us from nerd stash dc's batgirls and tim drake's robins ended yes T tim drake robin sadly is canceled as is Batgirls, which was not a book that I even really paid attention to. Uh, really wouldn't have paid a lot of attention to Tim Drake Robin other than to review it to this channel after what they've kind of done to the character. So this really just kind of goes to show that when you take a very interesting, uh, dark brooding character who's got kind of a troubled past and this dark introspective personality with these complicated interpersonal dramas and everything else, throw all that out the window, make him gay, give him a boyfriend, make him kind of simpy. And then um, at the end of the day, make him just a weird kind of effeminate girlfriend to his boyfriend. That doesn't really translate well to uh, get, you know, a series going. And then on top of that, just go ahead and put, pedestrian artwork that looks like it's something you see hanging on the fridge of the parents of young children, then no, that's not a recipe for success in any comic book universe. So yes, Tim Drake sadly is going to be gone. And who could have predicted that? Well, we did when we reviewed issue number one and I said, this book is terrible and it's not going to last. Uh, the Batgirl. So this was a book that I knew, I knew about it. I had seen it. Um, it was just kind of this girl, girly comic about Stephanie Brown and uh, Cassandra Kane being mentored by Barbara Gordon, which I actually think is kind of a good idea. Um, you know, the, the next generation, especially since Batgirl has stepped back into the Oracle role in, in DC Comics to have her kind of going out and, and training who the next Batgirl is going to be, even though I don't know why we would have two characters with the same name. I mean, Cassandra Kane is Batgirl, so I don't know why, why uh, Stephanie Brown just doesn't step back into her spoiler identity. She's kind of wearing the costume, just the new bat emblem on the chest. Uh, but yeah, so this book is canceled too. This artwork also, what is with this? DC house style they're trying to do it's it's kind of like Scotty Young's cartoony style but without any of the weird kind of gothic creepiness that that can you know go in there that death to fairyland type story or type uh art style which works for death in fairyland or death to fairyland and it worked really well for um the me you love in the dark and books like that but books like Tim Drake and books like Batgirls, I just don't see it. I, I really don't. And I, I really think you need not only an artist with a specific kind of eye to pull that off. You need a writer that can take advantage of that art style. And I think you need a story that has a, a certain tone that that art style specifically fits. It's very, very specific. 
when it's done well and it's done right, it's really, really effective. But if you just throw it at a title where it doesn't really fit, then it just comes across as awkward and weird. So both of these books will be ending uh, this summer, uh, I believe, with uh, issues 10 and 17, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Tim, Yeah, Tim Drake's number 10 will be his final issue out in June and um, issue 10, yeah, for Batgirls. So DC's Batgirls are done. Tim Drake Robin is done. DC Comics just uh, basically brought everybody in to fire some people. But unfortunately, those mid-level decision makers are still in their jobs, which means it's just going to be replaced with more of this. I So uh, pointless, probably. We're going to this will be the last round of DC layoffs is what that sadly means. But for that, for now, at least DC Comics seems to still be making the uh, same mistakes and paying the, the price for those mistakes, which is low sales, can't maintain positions, have to lay off uh, workers and these books that just get thrown out there for an audience that doesn't exist. Uh, bring in the rewards that you would expect them to, which is cancellation after 10 issues. There it is. That's the end of that. So are you going to miss Tim Drake Robbins solo series? Um, I loved Tim Drake Robbins series in the 90s. I, th- I thought it was a great, great comic. Uh, you know, that came out when I was when I was younger, kind of almost about the age that Tim Drake was supposed to be. So that was really relatable to me, the way that the character was written. But, you know, this character is the, the what we saw in this latest in- iteration of him was not recognizable as the character that I remembered. And uh, yeah, a little too far, a little too much of a departure. Um, and I think it kind of does the whole Stephanie Brown, Robin relationship dirty just to, you know, you have him the latest in the long list of uh, DC make him gay and see if that works strategy that say they seem to employ on all their characters. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Let's talk about the comments below while you're down there. Please do all the usual stuff. Hit like subscribe to the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, uh, I'd love to have you here and let me know if either of these books were one that you read, if you're going to miss them, if maybe they didn't get a fair shot, uh, let's talk about that in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.